In this session, we will cover how to create and load a key into your scanner and data link program. The easiest way to create a key to use with your scanner and to get information into data link is to start by making a paper key using an answer sheet. Once the key has been scanned, it can be saved as an electronic key file and stored for future use or to share with others. It is worth noting that Datalink does allow you to create a key without using a paper answer sheet called an electronic key using the key editor in Datalink. However, this functionality is limited and not recommended for most users. Therefore, this tutorial will focus on how to create and use a paper key. When creating an answer key, you need to use the same style answer sheet you will be giving your students for their test. On your answer sheet, make sure you fill in the key bubble at the top which will let the scanner and data link program know that this answer sheet is the key for the test. If you want the correct answer to print on the student's answer sheet when they are scored, then you also need to fill in the verify bubble. If the verify bubble is not filled in, then when the test is scanned, only a red dash will show up next to the incorrect answers on the student's test sheet. The benefit of having the red dash indicate that the question was answered incorrectly instead of printing the correct answer is that it allows you to rescore that test with corrections at a later time if you so choose. Once you have marked your key selection at the top, you will then need to fill out the rest of your key. Fill in all the bubbles or brackets that correspond with the correct answers for the test that you will be giving. Note that by marking multiple responses for a single question requires students to mark the exact same marks to get the answer correct. An either or option is only available when using the key editor within Datalink, but not when using a paper key. After you have filled in all the correct answers and marked the key bubble at the top of the page, your answer key will be ready to run through the scanner. If you are using the scanner in standalone mode, simply make sure the scanner is powered on and the LCD reads ready. Your key can then be run through the scanner followed by the student's answer sheets. If you want to capture electronic data when scanning your test, you will need to check that the scanner is on and connected to Datalink. To do this, open the Datalink program on your computer. Then check to make sure that your display screen is showing a green circle at the bottom left. If you are seeing the green circle and it says Scanner Connected, you are ready to scan your answer key. If at the bottom left you have a red circle with a white line through it, that indicates that your scanner is not connected to the Datalink program. In this case, check to make sure that the power supply is plugged into the wall outlet and the test scoring machine. You will know that the machine is on because the LCD screen shows ready. Then double check that either the USB or serial cable is connected to both the test scoring machine and your computer. After you have verified all connections, the red bubble should then change to green. If the connection has still not been established, you will need to go to the scanner menu and navigate down to find scanner. Your red button should then change to green, indicating that your scanner is hooked to your data link program and ready to scan answer sheets. Once scanned, you will see that the information from your paper key has now been imported into data link. The correct answers will show here at the top of your data link screen. On your paper answer key, you will see that the correct answer has been printed next to each row. If you have a question with more than one correct answer on that row, a red X will show rather than the correct answer. This simply indicates that more than one response was selected for that question. Please make sure you verify the information showing in Datalink is correct and contains the answers from the paper key you scanned. You can double check information in this screen or in the key editor. To view your answer key in the key editor, click on the icon that looks like an answer sheet with a key in the top right corner. This will transfer all the scanned answers from the single row format you see here to a layout similar to your paper answer sheet like this. Once you have double checked that all information scanned is correct, you can add a description to the test. The key editor is also the feature that you would use to create an electronic key directly into Datalink without filling in a paper key. Keep in mind that not all forms available for the Grademaster and Advantage scanners are listed in the Datalink program. The electronic forms that are available for these scanners are offered in a drop-down menu in Datalink when opening the key editor without a loaded key. If the form you are using for your test is not listed, you will need to create a paper key. After filling in the form and machine selection when creating an electronic key, 
The rest of the features that can be set or changed are the same as if you had scanned a paper answer sheet and then opened the key editor. The description field is where you will want to explain what the test is for. You will notice that you have some other options which you can change as well. Below the description field you have two clickable boxes. The first box is prevent changes to this key. If you click this box it will lock the key so that no changes can be made to it once it has been saved. This is a great feature if the test is coming from a district and needs to be the same for every school without any alterations to the key. Locking the key ensures that no changes can be made except for on the computer that created the test. Next to that, there is a box titled Prevent Editing Results in the Scanner Results Grid. This feature will lock all answers from the answer sheets once scanned. A teacher or administrator cannot go back and edit students' answers in DataLink after the answer sheets have been scanned. If these boxes are not checked, both the key and the scanned results will be able to be manipulated within DataLink. The next item that you have the option of changing is a point value for each question. The point value, or value correct, as it is listed in DataLink, defaults to having each question worth a single point. However, you have the ability to change the point values if desired. If you want a question to be worth two points, simply change it in this field. You can also assign partial points to make a question worth partial point values. Changes to point values can be partial or whole points. If you don't want to make any changes, all questions will stay at their default setting of being worth a single point. The next column, Value Incorrect, allows you to deduct points or partial points for incorrect answers. To deduct points or partial points for incorrect answers, put a value in the Value Incorrect column. This will prevent students from guessing answers as they will lose points for incorrect answers, thus being points ahead to leave the answer blank rather than guessing and getting the wrong answer. In all point value columns, you can add or subtract partial points. The next column value blank is similar to the value incorrect in that you can add or subtract points from a student if they leave the answer to the question blank. Both the value incorrect and value blank options default to a zero point value. If you don't want to change the point values, then no action is needed. After you have completed assigning point values to each question, you can then select if you want the question to be included in the report or left off. If you don't want the data from a particular question to be included on a report, you would uncheck that box and the information for that question will not be included in your reports. The scanned information will show in data link, but not be included in the reports when they are exported to other formats, such as Excel. All questions default to being included in reports. If you want specific items to be left off your report, you will need to open the key editor and uncheck those boxes. The next column is for including items in the student's test score. This column will also be auto-selected. This option is helpful if you have some questions on the test that you had wanted to gather information from the students about, but don't want them to count against the student's score. Maybe you included a question as to what the student's favorite unit was in the chapter if a student teacher was effective, or if they attended a study group. Those questions would show up on your test reports, but the answers would not be factored into the student's test score if you unmark the box. Leaving all questions to their default would result in all questions being included in the test score. Keep in mind that any changes made to the test data once they are scored or to the key will make the printed score on the test sheets themselves inaccurate. The answer scanned or manipulated in DataLink would be correct, but the answer on the student's paper sheet would no longer be accurate. If changes were made, you can print the individual student report from DataLink to hand back with the scanned answer sheet to the students. The final column in the key editor is the either or column. What this does is it allows for a question to have more than one answer. Earlier in this tutorial, we saw how if you marked more than one answer on your key, you would get a red X next to that row. This is the area where you can assign the either or option for those answers. With the either or box checked, it allows a student to get points if they have marked answer A or answer C. You have to make sure that you have filled in both A and C on the answer key for both answers to be accepted. If, however, you want the students to mark both A and C to get the question correct, simply mark those bubbles or brackets on your answer key and do not check the either or box. This will require that both responses must be marked in order for the student to get the question correct. If you only want a student to select one answer, not both, then you need to enable the either or box. 
Once you have completed editing your answer key, you will need to save it. To save the answer key, click on the File tab at the top left and navigate down to the Save Key option. A pop-up box will open which allows you to select where you want to save your answer key and what you want to title it. Once you have filled in this information, you may click Save. Your answer key is now saved in Datalink and ready to use. You can save the answer key to your hard drive, flash drive, or movable disk, and you can even share your saved key with other teachers via email. Once a key has been created and saved, it can be used or shared as needed. All standards or learning objectives assigned to the test will also be saved to the key file. Your saved key is now loaded into your scanner and data link and you may begin scanning your answer sheets. If you have any additional questions on how to create or load a key into data link, please contact a member of our technical support team at 800-827-9219.